Here's a little farm update for you guys. I'm feeding pickle. I'm still doing one pint bottles per feeding and this has been really beneficial. Um, I mentioned before when I got him, he was scouring a little bit. He now has pretty solid poops. I'm still doing an electrolyte bottle in between his milk servings. I mentioned in a previous video that, that I mowed all of our grass. Fortunately, after that, after I finished mowing, we've had rain, which is such great timing. <laughs> I cut everything down to a uniform four inches and I've already seen so much growth. It does feel a little counterproductive to mow grass. <laughs> when I have cattle who eat grass, I think the long-term vision of managing pasture and having a really strong system outweighs whatever short-term benefits grazing them now would have. Otto and Miller have completely annihilated their round bale, so it has became bedding. It seems to be the natural progression of a hay bale around here. Miller has decided that maybe zucchini's not so bad. Otto may have uh, gotten pooped on. Not cool, Miller. And believe it or not, Otto's growing hairs in his bald spot. <laughs> The cow yard is coming along quite nicely. We got this chain link gate up here with some fancy latches. We got some fencing. We do want to do a little bit of possibly electric wire to keep the girls from destroying this fence. They still got their itty bitty cow yard for now. I've mentioned in previous videos that Miller is scared of me. No longer the case. I think we have a pretty good relationship going on. I've bribed him with food. As I'm walking around to deliver the girls their hay, I make sure to feed Miller every time. We're cool now. Another cool thing is that I've actually been able to get this rope halter around his head without him freaking out. Halter training Otto in front of Miller, I think has made the biggest impact. I'm still feeding my girls a steady diet of dry grassy hay, small portions of barley, and it's going so well. All of the girls have gained some body condition. Snowdrop looks so fantastic, her fur has done a complete 180. She's actually starting to gain some weight, which she's been the hardest one for me to keep weight on. Things are going great over here, guys. Who's ready to watch me clean up some poop? girls pick through their hay they will inevitably drop some but typically the hay will start rebedding the barn when I notice spots like this that are getting pretty pretty wet I'll try to remove as many of those layers as possible but what I'm gonna need to do today because I can smell it and if I can smell it that's a problem for me if you have enough carbon and your deep polluter bedding it shouldn't smell at least it shouldn't smell horrible. When I go over there, it's stinking. So I'm gonna grab a bag of pine shavings and I'm going to mix that into that area after removing a large portion of the wet stuff because we want more carbon material than nitrogen and their pee is nitrogen. It's pretty easy to guess where a majority of your poop and pee is going to be. For me, it's right around the hay feeder. Here's Nala's body condition as of right now. Cassie looks like she's been rolling around in some hay. 
Cassie's looking really good. I love to see a good, good amount of muscle right here. Snowdrop is just looking fantastic. Her fur looks so well kept. She is shiny. She typically is more narrow than the other girls, but she's actually filling out slowly but surely. I'm pretty sure Rouge is the one who eats majority of the food and it shows. Her and, uh, her and Delilah could probably have an eating competition. But Snowdrop is just shiny and she's getting like, She's getting a good layer of fat over her ribs right here, which I love to see. Nala and Rouge, as of this month, are ready to be bred. Jerseys are about a year, 12 months. Cassie or Holsteins, Frisians, you're gonna be looking more about 15 months. But Delilah doesn't miss a meal, guys. Delilah, I'm gonna hold back and wait to breed with Otto because she is small. Originally, I was planning to breed Snowdrop with Otto as well because she's so thin, but if her body condition continues to improve, I might actually breed her with Miller as well. Both the jerseys are gonna get bred with Miller. Cassie will definitely get bred with Miller also because she is going to be a bigger cow. Steens, I believe you want to breed them around 800 pounds. There's a certain percentage of their full body weight um, that's the technical way to tell if they're ready to be bred yet. I wanna say it's 55% of, of their mature body weight. I'll look it up and I'll, I'm sure I'll post it in the captions, but hi, baby girl. I am, I'm just so stoked about the results I've been seeing from changing up the way that I feed the girls grain. Every single one of the girls have improved in body condition tenfold. Snowdrop over here also had like scaly dry skin on her neck, uh, under her belly. And since changing the way that I fed her grain, no more dry skin. So if you're thinking about owning cattle, cows, calves, heifers, bulls, if there was anything that would be beneficial to giving yourself the best start, I would say educate yourself on proper nutrition. Every one of my girls' health has improved by knowing when and how frequently to feed them and what amounts. Nothing is going to give you a better experience than starting with a foundation of health. And of course, clean, dry bedding, fresh air. That's like the trifecta to have the best experience with livestock you can.